<laughs> this may look very sad, but it's not. Because... <laughs> Just dropped anchor in Dutch St. Martin, Simpson Bay, and uh, there's a rainbow to end our voyage. We'll look around, we're way out in the bay because we have a 10 foot draft. All the way out here, parked next to this big mega yacht. St. Martin, an island in the Northeast Caribbean, is divided into two parts. The north is French, and the southern part is Dutch. Excellent docking, lovely anchorages, and availability of exemplary marine services and chandleries have made this an attractive stop for both cruisers and mega yachts from around the world. Of note, the entire island is duty-free, therefore parts are not taxed again when imported. There are several regattas, the most popular being the Heineken Regatta, which attracts over 2,000 sailors and hundreds of boats every year. One unique feature of St. Martin is Simpson Bay Lagoon, accessed only through drawbridges, which offers a less roly protected anchorage. We are waiting for the bridge to open up at 9.30 to let boats in and out of the lagoon. That bridge will open up and boats in the lagoon will single file out and then boats outside of the lagoon will single file in, including us. We're gonna go to Simpson Bay Marina. I am so happy to be back. I love St. Martin. Some teeny little toy boats over here. There's a Swan 48 Bella Luna docked in Simpson Bay Marina in Dutch St. Martin. After our 1500 nautical mile sail from Georgia, we just got in this morning. This is the last stop for Monique and I. From here on, Captain AJ and the owners are going to sail on to other parts of the Caribbean. A lot of nice boats here.
Right in there is the Simpson Bay Yacht Club or St. Martin Yacht Club. It's right next to the Simpson Bay Bridge right here, which we're about to walk across. It has this patio seating right in there from where you can sit and have your cocktails and watch the boats go through the bridge when it opens twice a day. Looking out there, you can see Simpson Bay. We came through this bridge this morning. And then on the other side, that's Simpson Bay Lagoon. There's the Mega Yacht Limitless. The Dutch St. Martin Coast Guard base is right here. You can see one of their Navy warships docked right there. Customs and immigration is right here on the Dutch side. So you would bring your boat in, anchor out in the bay, or wait for the bridge opening, and anchor out in the lagoon or get into a marina, and then work your way to that building with your boat registration papers and passports and sign in. When I was here three years ago, it was $20 a week to keep your boat here whether it was at anchor or not. Here's Simpson Bay Market. Across from McDonald's. McDonald's has free Wi-Fi. Next to the Golden Eyes Live Show Adult Entertainment Bar Complex. Right here, we've got Marcy's Mega Gym, which is really, really cool. They've got all the Nautilus dumbbells and cardio equipment. Hi! And that's Marcy! I just said hello to Marcy from Marcy's Mega Gym. She runs that place, has for many, many years. She used to be a competition bodybuilder. Now she's got this gym in St. Martin. We have Jalapa Marina where the mega yachts are. Maybe we'll just take a quick look in there. Want to go down there? Take a quick look. Want to grab a beer here? There's a... Uh, dancing. My friend Kevin climbed that pole when we came here once. <laughs> uh, sure, go ahead. I'll have a Heineken. This place gets completely back every night. Pool table right here. <laughs> Jägermeister pool table. So how does it feel to be back in St. Martin? Oh, it feels good. Yeah, I love this island. I love that it's such a big hub of, of cruising life. Um, I love that, you know, if you're, if you're gonna settle down and do some major projects on your boat, this is a really good place to do it. There are two gigantic boat, chan boat supply chandleries here. One called Budget Marine, another one called Island Water World. Uh, so basically anything that you need you can get from them and if they don't have it in stock they can order it for you. Um, I just love that this is just a mecca of uh, of the cruising life with all these hundreds of boats out here in the, anchor in the anchorage with people living on them. Um, I love that it's so multicultural here. It, it really is, not just in, in that there are cruising boats here from all over the world, 
but also the, uh, the, the population that lives on land here is, uh, is extremely multicultural. Very sort of cosmopolitan place almost. The French side, the Dutch side, but there are many Chinese people, many Indian people. The restaurants on the French side are something to be appreciated. I'm looking forward to showing you the grocery stores on the French side where where uh, all I the products them. all the products are from all the food products are from France and the wine is very inexpensive and the French baguette breads are made fresh every day. I'll we'll have to load up my grocery sack with some wine and bread and cheese and bring it back to the room. Uh, uh, I... ah. This may look very sad, but it's not. Because... <laughs> Just gonna walk down this dock and give you a little look at the scene around here. Here we've got the dinghy dockage for the bar. Got some beautiful, gigantic boats. Those hydraulic backs. Christina G from Georgetown Powerboat. This boat is very interesting to me. She looks totally no nonsense. Aluminum, long and skinny. from Georgetown. Rosanante. Val Quest. Billy Bud. Lady Georgina. Back out on the main drag again. No, thanks. The Tequila Tex Mex Cantina. The Rancho, Rancho Steakhouse with live Latin music every Saturday. We've got the mailbox where they have internet computers that you we can. We should see if your package is here. Where you can. I sent you that you never got. Oh God! Yeah, years ago. Not years ago. Yeah, years ago. It was a year, year and a half ago. It wasn't a year and a half ago. Two and a half years ago. Well, three years ago. No. Two and a half years. Two and a half. Well, in St. Martin is definitely in the Chinese food restaurant. It, uh, it almost makes it not worth it to cook at home. It's uh, a restaurant. I mean, it's not gourmet dining, but it's very inexpensive and not bad. Okay.
I ordered the Spanish chicken for seven dollars with rice, and Monique got the Cantonese chicken with rice. Well, no, what is it? The Peking chicken, Peking chicken with rice, and the beers are just two dollars.